everybody, it's your girl Marche. Hi, and I'm Nia. It's very nice to meet you all out there. Yes, and we're gonna make some snacks, some vegan snacks. Yes. Yeah, we um we, we stay hungry and um we stay hungry and we stay healthy. And we stay healthy. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we are definitely gonna take some time to make some vegan tuna, mm -hmm. aka tuna. tuna. Isn't that? I think that's so cute. That is healthy. Tuna. That is hella cute. So I'll show you the ingredients right now and then of course while we're making some things you know we'll chat yeah. a little bit um and kind of just introduce ourselves you know as we're making this fabulous thing i guess it's a technically a tuna melt because we're gonna put it on some bread with a little she cheese. wants to be fancy like listen you gotta be fancy she's not just gonna give you tuna okay she's giving you a tuna melt this is a whole vibe um you know roll with us we're just we're gonna have some fun you yeah. know what i mean um First time we're doing something like this, so uh, it'll be fun. Very fun. It'll be fun. So this tuna that we're making, mm -hmm. um, vegan tuna, okay. Super easy, you probably have most of these things in your house already. Okay, we are gonna make it out of garbanzo beans. Yes. That'll be our main, I guess, the base, mm -hmm. okay. We are gonna use some sweet relish. Vegan minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Garlic powder, onion powder, Dill weed, okay. Sea salt to season the taste. Mustard, nori fukaki. This is very important, almost just as important as the chickpeas because this is what's gonna make it taste like tuna. That and then black salt. So I learned something. Tell us. Okay, I got this from the Indian market. I'm sure you can get it from like Indian, Korean, African, anything that's not American, <laughs> I guess, you know what I mean? I don't know. But I learned that black salt actually helps it taste like egg. So that's why you see two different salts, the sea salt and the black salt. Both of these will use sparingly. For the melt, I got, oh, I got some paprika too to add to it. But for the melt, I got some vegan brioche. If you haven't, I have not tried. I'm, I, where did you get that? Oh my God. But this brand is local to LA, it's California. It says locally made in Los Angeles. But you do that and then this is vegan cheddar. Yeah. We'll use that after. So that's like for later, but we'll get this thing started. Okay. Um, I have my magic bullet knife so I can chop some things up. I didn't even mention the red onion. Red onion. I'm terrible. You need this too. And since it's raw, you're not cooking the stuff, you kind of want that little, yeah. you know, pop mm -hmm. that's got in there. Yeah. So I'm excited to try this because when you are, you know, going plant-based or making the transition into it, mm -hmm, a lot of mm -hmm. things you start to miss. And tuna is definitely one thing that I miss, and so I'm super excited to now to with, try this. with your tuna, like when you make it normally. Yes. Do you pretty much use all the same ingredients? Or I like? you, yes and yes. And yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I keep it <laughs> simple. Oh, and mayonnaise. And mayonnaise. I swear you gotta put mayonnaise. I keep so I got my magic bullet to kind of help with this, so we can kind of jump into this thing. Yes. So Nia, can you tell like what, why did we decide to like, kind of like make Create. some stuff? Yeah, make create stuff. this, yeah. Well, because health and wellness is very important, and I know that a lot of people have questions about how to be plant-based and how to live a life full of wellness. Mm -hmm. And so that's just what we want to do. We want to give you tips and tricks to either help you transition or to make your wellness walk stronger mm -hmm. because we're just, we're all in this together. We're, we're all here together. to just help each other, uplift each other. And yeah. if there's something that you know that I don't know, help me out. Real talk. And vice versa. Real talk. Real yes. Talk. Um, I wish that I had a food processor, but I don't. We have, but we have a magic bullet. We do, we do, we okay. Do. Which, isn't that the same name as for a vibrator? Or no, did I make that up? I feel like there's a, that's what you call a little mini, I think it's just a bullet. Okay, not magic. That provides you with me. Okay, cool. I was like, I could have sworn. I had yes. a roommate in college. Shout out to my roommate Courtney in college. She definitely bought me my first vibrator in college. That's sweet. Yeah. Oh, I think you. I think everyone remembers their first vibrator. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of late in the game. In college? Yeah. My where, second. Where, I was a where sophomore. Gonna, where are you gonna buy one in high school? That, that's true. For you? But I. But here's the thing. This and this could be radical or whatever. As a parent, when I become a parent, I do think that I want to maybe like senior year, like right when like we're going off, like mm -hmm. we're about to go off to school. Um, because you need that to kind of help you learn 
you about know. yourself. Yes. So I would yes. I would not even know like we're you know type of stuff, but I would want to like have give one to yeah. my like hey this is just you know and it's gonna be weird or whatever. We talking about sex and you grown and yeah. you probably doing whatever. So at least you need to know where your spots are and what you like, yeah. what you don't, what all the parts are. That's like the second sex talk because you know yeah. the initial sex talk is the birds and the bees, and yeah. then the next one is. Here you are off to college. Let me teach you about yourself and try yeah. to teach you how to not be a hoe. <gasps> <laughs> so let's get into it. So this recipe is like super quick and easy. Yeah. Um, so first I got these chickpeas in this uh, in this magic bowl. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do, chop them up a little bit and then use this mallet thing, or you can use a spoon. You don't want to chop it up too. You need mallet. This yeah, just a little, just like a little bit. You know what I mean? You don't want it to be too. Let me ask you something. Uh -huh. Why did you decide to become plant-based? Um, strictly vain. Oh. Um, I was just able to eat more and still look good. Hello. And I'm gonna be good feel lighter. Yeah, it was a it was a whole vein thing. I did this fast, Daniel's fast, and then after I did it, I had like lost a bunch of weight, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, this is lit. This is this is actually the tits. This yeah. Is the move. And then um, that was it. You know. What was the hard? What was the most difficult part about transitioning into being plant based? Um, cheese and egg. Uh huh. Like I didn't realize how frequent. I don't think people realize either how frequent you just eat milk eggs. is like in every, milk and eggs milk is everything. everything. I mean, you just eat. You know, you wake up in the morning, you just have eggs. It's, it's not easy. a. It's easy. Mm -hmm. You can have it on a piece of toast. You can have a little scramble with. You know, it's yeah. just so easy. So you decided. Well, um, it was it was a combination of two things. One was the Daniel fast, mm -hmm. and the other, my dad had um, lap band surgery. And when you have the lap band surgery, you really have to change the way that you eat. And so I was, I was living with my, you know, at home at the time, and I said, "Listen, you're not the only one who's going to change the way that you eat. I yeah. support you." So I was like, Here "So we how go. is he now? Like, oh, what? he's fantastic. He's amazing." I'm not listen. I let the ancestors let me know as far as measuring. I like red onion. If you are not a big onion fan, just put a little in there. But I cut like a third of this onion. Mm -hmm. I chopped it. It's a little, you know, this isn't a magic bullet commercial, let's just say that. Okay. <laughs> I um, you know what we need to get, not to put no shade or nothing, but I heard that ninja mm. is affordable. Right now, yeah. And um, yeah. Yeah. the blades lit, so you know. I just need a ninja it. kitchen. No, me too. Like, me too. My life will be complete. Yeah. Let's no. manifest that, let's shall manifest we? We'll talk that. about manifesting. We surely will. Um, how is this looking? That looks fabulous. If you can show a little bit more, but if you can show them, I'll just chop it a little bit. But you still want like some chunks. Can you see that? I can. I can see that. That looks good. So we got that. I'm gonna add these onions in there. Yeah, this is a lot easier than I. Yeah, no, and this is the that's the main part because all the rest are seasoning. So it's literally yeah. the main. That's like the main. Um, I guess what the most work you have to do is chop up. The onions the, and the chickpeas. Yeah. yeah, that's and then the rest is like season to taste. Hmm. So literally I'm just putting in there whatever feels right. You know what I'm saying? The great thing about this is you can always add more, you know. Yeah, because you're making it for you. You are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some people aren't a big um it's like with potato salad. Have you ever had one that some was off? Too much mustard, too much mayo. You know what I mean? The, the potato. I, I, I don't I don't I don't test God and I don't test potato salad or macaroni and cheese. So no, I can't. If my mother didn't make it, then yeah. I Yeah. Who even does that? Who would bring potato salad anywhere where people don't know you like that? Like, why would you do that? I would rather you bring a patty pie than to bring... Bring a store by pie. And don't yeah. sleep. Store by pie pies are amazing. Yes. Yeah. So I don't know who... And if you want to bamboozle people into making them think that you made it, of course, take it out take of it all out. the wrapping and stuff. And put it in put it, it, put it. You can even sprinkle a little dash or something on top. Mm -hmm. Put it in your own dish. Like there are ways, ladies, if you are going to meet the parents, there are ways to bamboozle the parents into thinking that you can cook Now what for if their you children. put that patty pie in that thing and, and the mama just be like, this tastes just like a patty pie. Yeah. Add a little seat, whatever you do, just put a little something, something. in it. Yeah, just to something. change it, exactly, exactly. Or if she asks, then you just say, oh my goodness, your house is so lovely. Did you decorate this yourself? That's hilarious. Just like, you know, take that the conversation hilarious. somewhere else in her favor. Okay. So, 
Put the onions in there, boom. So now we're gonna add a little mayo. And literally, I mean, I don't know, I'm gonna put like two spoonfuls in there. I don't know. Sweet relish, we're gonna add a little bit of that. If you it. know of a sauce or something that you can make with sweet relish that isn't tuna or potato salad, leave it in the comments and below. Let us know. I'm gonna try not to mix um, all the cross contaminate. Yeah, cross contaminate. That way we got mayo. That's okay, because the sweet relish is just for the for tuna. This. Exactly. So you're fine. Exactly. You're a okay. Um, so I put the sweet relish, relish in. I might add more, because to me, I feel like it ain't enough, but. But if you're, oh, well, you like it in here. Mm -hmm. um, so Marche, let me ask you yeah. another other questions. Yeah. Um, and talking about life and, and wellness, um, we are of course in a pandemic. And so yeah. I think that everybody needs some sort of daily ritual or daily thing that they do to make them feel normal. Yeah. What is a daily ritual that you have or something that you do every day that makes you feel normal? Cool. Um, that was a squirt. That was like a squirt. I don't even know. That was just like a little, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put even parts. I think the mayo. Mustard, mustard to taste. Yeah, mustard yeah. to taste. Cause too much, cause you know mustard's strong. You only yes. need a little, you only need a little bit. All of this is, is to taste. To taste. Yes. Um, To answer your question about rituals, um, something that has been really powerful for me lately is like meditation. Mm -hmm. um, before I used to fall asleep when I was doing it. Like some people can do it in their bed or certain places. Like yeah. I have to kind of do a whole thing. I like to light a little incense, go sit somewhere else. Yeah. Kind of make myself not uncomfortable, but in a way where I can't just kind of like yeah. fall asleep. Mm -hmm. So that's been really very, very helpful for me. Um, my hot water and cinnamon and lemon in the morning helps to get things started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a hot water, cinnamon, yeah, and lemon, yeah, mixed together, yeah. Yeah, the cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon, okay. not the regular cinnamon okay. you buy in the store, but Ceylon cinnamon is helpful for your digestion. Mm -hmm. And so it just gets everything pumping and ready to go, the lemon too. So whatever you eat that day, it just helps it. To, yeah. And I feel like you just feel, you know how you, it just gets everything churning? So you yeah. kind of feel like, okay, to make you hungry, you know, you're ready to go. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. What about you? Daily rituals for me, aside from talking to my mom every day, um, I just try to sit with, especially in this, time when things are shut down and people mm -hmm. feel like their dreams can't come true, mm -hmm. I try to still sit and manifest um, certain things. So mm -hmm. I'll sit with my goals, I'll sit with my vision board, I'll, I'll sit with things. Now how so, often now, cause I'm a little, I'm a little trife with this. I made a vision board years ago mm -hmm. and I haven't updated it much. Yeah. And I think that's pretty trife. Cause obviously, you know, you advance in life, you mm -hmm. get more things going on. So how often do you like, I reassess. I reassess every year. That's good. So instead of the, instead of a New Year's resolution, I'll just say, okay, these are goals that I had on my vision board. Do I still feel the same way about them, mm -hmm. or have I achieved this? Great. Yeah. Then I'll congratulate myself and then put mm -hmm. another goal or something else that I'm visioning on my vision board. Yeah. So. It just happens random for me. I'll accomplish a goal and I'll be like, oh snap, that was on my thing. Right, <laughs> right. And then I actually, but it's not until that I complete that thing and then I look back like, oh, where are we at now? So we add the mustard last. Now we're gonna go to these seasonings here. Mm -hmm. So the paprika and the salt I have to taste, but the actual ingredients for the tuna, again, the nori fukaki, I have to seaweed and like sesame seed. Mm -hmm. But it's got that fishy, look, I haven't even opened it. And this is, if you like um, sushi, but you know, you're going oh, vegan, yeah. you yeah. can get sushi rice, put that on it, mixed with some avocado, delish, or some oh. cucumber, amazing. We should figure out how to make vegan sashimi. Uh, we should, mm -hmm. we should. There's yeah, a place in LA fish. that makes some um, alkaline vegan um, sushi. Alkaline vegan, well, we will find Cause you. Cause you know, alkaline is up. like where, yeah, you know what I mean? Shout out to Vegans LA, they deserve a shout out. They're yeah. in Inglewood. They deserve a shout out. Minority owned business. Food Love is it. phenomenal. Yeah. Okay, they always sell out, always sell out. Okay, so I don't know how much it is to add, but I don't know. I added a good amount. A couple of sprinkles. I counted like five shades. It was like, yeah, five of these. Five. Bye, 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 bye. Yeah, you know what I mean? So and then we're gonna add some garlic powder. I like garlic powder, so we're gonna. Boom. Yes. Yes. We're gonna add some dill weed. This is new as well. That I 
Where did you get that? Just Ralph's. Now, this Ralph's, yeah. Now, Dill, it's gonna be interesting trying to figure out what to put this in. What? Really the only Dill I know is when you mix it with pickle. Dill yeah. pickle. And the only weed I know is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Okay, okay. So let's, it's kind of strong, so I don't really, I'm not gonna I be do, super, I smell you it smell it like. already? Like, I'm not gonna get too <laughs> right super here. liberal with that. Yeah. We'll just kind of do that. Maybe that's um, the taste. But you don't have to, because you already checking me putting onions in there, but I just like it to be real flavorful mm. without salt. Yeah. Any way you can, I can season food without yeah. salt, I'm like, put that shit in, you know, you can have as much onion powder as you want. Okay, yeah. great. And then, last but not least, the black salt that I have not opened yet. No, not yet. And I was told you only need a, a pinch, okay? I don't know if y'all know what a pinch is. These are all is. measurements, okay? Pinches. And pinches and then pinches. Okay. They're, they are measurements, Shout okay? Shout out to um, Miss Tabitha Brown. Yeah. Okay, because she is the one that put me on to black salt. When I tell you this is, now this is a pinch. This is a white people pinch right here. That's like, you can't, like, you can't even you. see. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Look at yeah. that. Literally just like, you know what I'm saying? Like a boom bam, cause you don't, you know, we looking out for our sodium and yeah. things, you know what I mean? They don't even feel right, I feel like I won't put more in there, but she said only a little pinch. She said only a little pinch. I'm gonna just put like a little tiny. I'm gonna start mixing it for you. Start mixing that thing. See it already smells, it like smells like it already. Yeah. Oh it's my gosh, it does. It does, it smells so good, it's yeah. crazy. Can you guys smell it? Great. Um, I might not even add the salt, depending on how it goes. What about the paprika? I do want to put a little pap in there. Yeah, that y'all, it smells wow. good. It really smells and amazing. It's, and it's pretty. It's it's colorful. It is pretty. Yeah. The dill in there and the, what is it? The norfakaki? Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so, in talking about daily rituals and things yeah. that we've been doing during quarantine and whatnot, um, what have your workouts been looking like? Oh or or what, what, let me rephrase, what have you been doing to keep your body moving yeah. and staying active? Yeah, workouts is crazy. Um, YouTube is my best friend right now. Mm -hmm. um, so I try to do yoga at least four times a week. Yoga I want to do it every day. Time. Well, this girl, because you don't know how to realign yourself. No, you're yeah, off. that's awesome um, that you bring that up. This girl, I follow yoga with. different ones and shorter ones too. Because yoga is usually like 45 to hour long. Yeah. Has like this 20 minute, 15 minute oh, okay. for your mind, for your creativity, for writing, for um, relaxing. Mm -hmm. I even looked up, I've been looking up ones for um, like womb health. It's like a specific yoga pose you can do for oh, like wow. your uterus and stuff. So I've been like looking that up. So I've been straight up on YouTube. Cute. I mean, it smells really good. It really does. I don't know if I over season the well, but we're gonna find out. We you will. know what I'm saying? But you know, you can't really go wrong because if you do over season, just add more chickpeas. I have another can if, if oh, yeah. shit went crazy. But what about you? What has been motivation for you, rather? Motivation for me to work out? Yeah, to work out. Think better when I'm moving and I'm more creative, I wanna say, when I'm moving. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, mm -hmm. that's it? Mm -hmm. That's it? I'm gonna go ahead and put some more there. Um, it's not terrible. It's good. It's good. I mean, it's not tuna, but it is. But it'll it'll it'll. It's do. tuna f. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's tuna. That was pretty. So I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. move the bread while we're talking right now. So I'm, we're gonna toast a little bit. Of it. We're gonna make our tuna melt. Yeah. Gonna but that was that's it. It's super melt. easy. So I'm gonna heat up some bread and some cheese, and then we'll show you guys in a second what that looks like. Ooh. And you're from Texas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard the stars at night. <laughs> or what is it, far and bright? Big and bright. Big and bright, okay, I was like, something bright. Deep in the heart of Texas. Now, yeah. yeah. What was it like coming from Texas to California and have you lived anywhere else besides those two states? That's a question. Um, I have lived in Georgia. Mm -hmm. What part? Atlanta. Moving here was awesome because I had a bunch, a bunch of friends here. Are they still here? Mm -hmm. 
people are coming and going. Yeah. Um, I've been here five years. People are, you know, whatever. But I had a bunch of friends from college here already, mm -hmm. and then just people I know in the industry or whatever. I had a bunch of friends here. Um, you are from LA. So born, how long? born and raised in LA. Yes. I was in Atlanta for two and a half years. Oh, were you? And then, well, before that, I was in New York for two years. Through. Um, Can you tell the people what you do? Like, my <laughs> but like, I am an actress. I also, you know, produce and have done stand up and. Um, I am a tap dancer. I check your stand up out, you're funny. Am I? Yeah, I check your flapper situation out, even the flapper spike, it was funny. I did. Check out your girls, YouTube. Uh, I stand up sometimes. Yes, checking me out on YouTube, Neo Wits is my channel. Yes. Um, And I, I have a show called Can We Talk About? Marche yes. has been you on the show. Go there. Yes. I may or may not have this same shirt on. Yeah. I think I have a Yeah. It's like almost like a perfect, like on the um, like like in the actual breath. Yeah, like in your easy bake and when you're a kid, and you have a fake stuff. Did you have an easy bake? I did. I did. Can I just like live my childhood dreams through you for a second? Yeah. What was it like? You didn't have an easy bake oven. Okay. Did your mommy and daddy even care about you? My, my easy bake oven literally sat in the pantry my entire childhood. Because I didn't have a driver's license or a job to go to the store to buy the lamp to put in the Easy Bake mm -hmm. Oven. So they halfway ruined my childhood, but I still love you guys. I'm not going to put you in a home. So I am toasting this brioche bread. It's about to go down. Let me just say something right now. Okay. We're talking about beef. Let's be talking about plant based. Let's talk about plant based cheese. Plant based cheese is like. Mm. It's like being a business and having to deal with the government. Like you don't want to, but, but at some you, point you're but you have don't to. have to. You know what I'm saying? And it may be pleasurable, it may not, yeah. depending on the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what vegan cheese is like. Sometimes you're getting in good, and sometimes you're like, man, where is the pro? But right. Wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. This brand is my Miyoko's. Creamery from Sonoma, California. Yeah. I feel like it should be a good um in like major grocery stores. I feel like depending on where you are in the US it might be yeah. a little hard. But that brand, whenever I see that name, I know that they, that they make a good ones. Yeah. When did you know going into your vegan journey, it's like I found this or your plant-based journey. I found this, I can do it. Yeah. Like when for me, sweets are my weakness. Uh-huh. So when I found a great vegan cookie, I said I can Ooh, do this. Ooh, okay. Dating a vegan mm. and seeing them make food that was edible. Mm -hmm. Just seeing is believing for me. Yeah. It's like making stuff at home like yeah. this. Like the first time I made meat too, fake meat with yeah. um, lentils and stuff. I was like, oh, this tastes good. And it was like three ingredients. Yeah. I was like, okay, I can do this. I, I do think this. that becoming plant based and having to make your own food yeah. in a certain way. I think it gives you a better relationship with food because yeah. whether we like to admit it or not, we all have a relationship with food and, and whether it's good or bad, yeah. you have one. So it's yeah. kind of like when you're becoming plant-based and you're making these things, you are controlling everything that goes into yeah. your mouth. Yeah. About Dr. Savy too, help me. Oh yeah. Bit. You know, seeing him um, do the things that he was able to do before yeah. he, he left. Passed. Yeah, before he left this earth. Um, Show you what she's doing. She's, yeah. she's um, tuna in <laughs> the bread. So, oh, it's a little hot. But I just took the slices and put, look at that. And put the tuna put on the top. tuna on the top. Mm -hmm. Stop playing, take that cheese out. Okay. So this black salt, get into it, okay. This will probably last you forever. This bag was like $5 for me. And you got it at the Indian? At the Indian store. This will probably last you literally forever. Like you only need, you y'all saw, I only put the little boop boop and then the little boop. Okay. Did this you want like, it at an angle? Uh-uh, but this is some thick cheese. Okay. No, what did you have? Did, should I put more tuna on it? Cause I was kind of, I was kind of light concerned. You were, you were very. Right, we're yeah. making a. It's, it's a melt. It's a melt. You're right. Oh, she got the whole big spoon. Yeah. Now, was now, cooking. now we're cooking. Well, yeah. we've been cooking. We've been cooking. But now we're cooking more. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That seems more right. That's like subway. See, I don't even feel like this. I feel like this is a lot, but then. Oh, we just like yeah. used. <laughs> we just used. It. Oh. So you can definitely just make a liberal amount of this 
Like I use two cans of chickpeas, mm -hmm. and this is for four slices here, and you know, boom. And I would like to make some of this like food prep. Like you can make this and put it in your fridge, you yeah. know? Get you some crackers. I wish I had some. So I put the cheddar on top, and we put it, we put it back in put on Put it back in broil. on broil. Now y'all know broil, if we'll, you may not, but broil is tricky. Mm -hmm. Don't you walk your, don't you even don't go, go too far. Don't do it, you look at that side. The edges will be burnt. You Black. will either have to start over or just live with what you did. What is one thing that 2020 has taught you? Trust myself. Ooh. Yeah, because I feel like you think, I didn't. I thought I was, but yeah. up until 2020, things were pretty much going like, yeah, okay, like it hadn't been a pandemic. It hadn't been anything crazy right. where I'm like left in the dark. But now that this has happened and I'm kind of like did stuff and it worked out, I'm like, oh, um, from a spiritual perspective, I felt like I could hear myself more in the inside. Mm. I could feel like, okay, this is good for you. This is not, like yeah. do this decision. Yeah. I am an indecisive, I can be an indecisive person. It can be very hard to make some basic decisions. And going plant-based makes me feel like it's just a clearer connection, mm. like a clearer download. Like if I have questions about stuff, I feel like I don't um, wrestle with it for too long. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that that for me has been like, crew. that is what keeps me with these damn vegetables. And I just feel like mm. in my mind, I feel like the vegetables like connect me. Yeah. Because they're living things. Right? Yeah. Living, yeah. Living things. Yeah. So I feel yeah. like it gives me superpower like Papa. Yeah. Papa. Yeah. Not a hiss. Spinach. One Papa. Not the chicken. <laughs> Not the chicken because I'm living like Papa. Like, no. What about you? That's dope. What has 2020 taught you? Um, I appreciate just life more because mm -hmm. who would have thought? Never would I have thought that in my lifetime. I would be living during a pandemic. Yeah. So it's just appreciating just life. And I can't believe we in a pandemic. Can't yeah. parents, because I'm like, okay, listen, you have lived in the time when there was the little turning phone and now you got a cell phone and yeah. you were around when Martin Luther King got Could shot. Could you imagine not um, having a phone, having a cell phone? Like having to meet somebody, give somebody time in a location and not being able to text? I, I can because a chunk of my life was that. Oh. But I remember back in the day when I was in high school before I had a cell phone and there were pay phones, ladies and gentlemen, I would do the thing where I would uh, call like 1-800-COLLECT and when they say, at the tone, state your name, I just say, mom, I'm ready to get picked up, who get me? And then wow. hang up and wow. then she would come and get me. Wow. That's how you work collect calls. See this tricky, this tricky big and cheese kind of take for yeah. milk. So I almost burnt this brioche bread. Not the bread, just the crust. We can just work around that. Honestly, a little burnt, a little, it's, it's Caucasian style. Yeah. That's good for you. It looks good though. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to touch you. Easy, easy. Literally so easy. so easy. Like Sunday morning. Sun, like literally just, just easy. Oh, it's got like such a nice crunch. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. But I kind of burnt the bread a little bit in the broil. We were having such a good conversation. Yeah, I told you, you can't do nothing. You gotta just broil it and pull it right out. Also, this cheddar is like, vegan cheese is not, it doesn't just melt super crazy. So when you are cooking with it, don't yeah. expect for it to like. Like melt like a regular cheese does because it's not a regular cheese. Scary. Okay, you wanna try some? Yeah, let's try some. Cheers to our chew in the mouth. Wait, I gotta get some cheese on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, cheers to our chew in the mouth. Cheers to tuna. Mm. That's good. No, that's good. The bread was a little toasty too, too toasty. But if you don't fuck your bread up, no, that's good. So what do you think? I like it. Come on, let's get a non a non plant based person over here. Come on, come try this. Try our tuna. This is our production assistant, Dwayne. Try, try our tuna. You got some cheese in there? Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll pass. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay. You pass on the one. Oh, there's cheese on it. Oh, you don't want any cheese. That's right, you don't want cheese. It's a good thing it's not cheese. That's right. Yeah? Is it getting the job done? Yeah? Uh, yeah. I'm into it. It's good. Okay. It's good. Let me chew this in there. We can. <laughs> Wrap it up. Oh, I'm just so hungry, girl. She's 
She's been waiting all day to eat this, so we, we're gonna wrap this up so we can let her eat. All day, but listen, okay? Mm-hmm. Good and cool. Get into it. We'll put subtitles down there if you didn't hear what she said. Get into it. This is tuna. This is tuna, it's super easy. We'll leave the recipe and the ingredients down below. And um, follow Miss Nia Witts on um, everything. Instagram, on YouTube. If you're not following her, which Facebook. you should be, follow her, yeah. okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's the holidays. Don't, don't be like, like that. share, subscribe, both of us. Both of them. And um, if you have any vegan recipes or plant-based recipes that you would like for us to try, please let us know. And also let us know when you make this. So um Oh yeah. now you're doing it Philly style. Oh yeah, we gotta yeah. Oh, she is you going put all the, the potato way. Chips. She's doing chips. You gotta put the potato chips oh, on top. Oh man. So to have that crunch. Man. She's here. All right, we love y'all. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna eat this. Bye. <laughs> okay.